when you're doing the law of attraction, <coughs> are you supposed to be very, very, very specific in what you want, or is that limiting, or is it more your highest good? I always say be specific, but add the phrase, this or something better. Because that's an ego trip. I went through this for the longest time. I would say, I want this particular car, Mercedes, such and such, this color, whatever. And I've since learned, that's not the right car for me. And if I hadn't said this or something better, I might have been stuck with a car I would have regretted at that point. Is that right? She's saying Mercedes would have been tough. Yeah, I, I moved way beyond. I just bought a Rolls Royce Phantom. And that was never in my mind. This is how this stuff works. That was never in my mind to buy. Once you start to get into the flow and you start to say, I want to attract these different cars or whatever it happens to be, if you limit it by saying, I want a Volkswagen or I want a Mercedes or something like that, you actually cut off something that can be so much more thrilling. Listen, being in a Rolls Royce Phantom is one of the most spiritual experiences I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> it is wild. I think it's interesting the kind that you bought it. Yes. What, what do you mean, the time that I bought it? I did. Yeah. I bought the day she's saying I bought the car on the day the market but crashed. It, that outer reality has nothing to do with you. Yeah. It has nothing to do with you. Yes, the day the stock market dropped the most number of points in, I don't know, recorded history or in this century, I was out there <coughs> buying a four hundred thousand dollar car. And I already have six cars and I work at home. I don't even drive. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> That's the kind of magic that takes place that is truly astonishing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, she's asking, do I do it by just rote, do I do it automatically, or do I have emotions to it? It works both ways. Honestly, there are times when um, something's not going right for me and I get frustrated. I get impatient. You know, I want something to, to shift and I thought it was going to shift and I perceive it as a problem. There's emotion there. And I really focus on that emotion and saying, okay, if there's emotion there, that's a sign that I've got some sort of issue, some sort of belief, and I will do it with intensity on that. But at the same time, I don't back off when I'm done with that emotion. I go back into, hey, life might be smooth right now, but let's keep the belief clearing going so that life can be even smoother in the next moments coming along. So I'm doing both. Yes? Yes. 